we have seen one problem in under that uh, mom, uh, moment of inertia. So then first we have seen center of gravity, then moment of inertia. I have told center of gravity just finding out we are locating the center point of any body. Okay, then moment of inertia is moment is force into perpendicular distance. Once again you are multiplying with the distance that becomes second moment of that a particular area or it is called moment of inertia. Under that you are finding out again x bar, y bar the values. Then we go for ixx and iyy value based on the formulas given in the book. You know the shape and formulas. Only the difference was that ixx value or finding the center of gravity plus area into h bar. H bar is one parameter is extra work there. I mean, uh, some uh, it's not a confusion. It's we have to make it clear that just it is the difference between while well, finding i x x is the difference between x one and x bar value as the uh, total value. Okay, so I'll again once again write while well, finding i x x to find h bar. I'll write to find h bar value. Doing i x x, it is. The difference between, I can say it right, the difference, difference between the x1 value to x bar value, which are maybe the higher. So, the difference, it is 40 or 60 or 20 or 40, whatever it is, only the answer. And it is to find while finding ixx, while finding iyy value, the formulas are given, only the h bar is the difference. It is y1 difference y bar, that is it. So, this will end up with your moment of inertia. Now, next to this, something called polar moment of inertia. This polar moment, purpose actually polar in the sense mathematically, you know what is the polar. You know, Cartesian coordinate, polar coordinate, what do you know, right? Polar coordinate is what is the sense? Cartesian coordinates are your x, y, z. Polar coordinates are your theta, r, etc. What is the meaning? It depends on the plane totally. Whatever the plane sketch you have, okay, you will have some x, y, or y, z planes. So anything, any particular axis which is perpendicular to the plane, is it clear? If I have a plane, okay, x and y. If my another axis which is perpendicular to the x y plane and and based on that if I find moment on that it becomes polar moment of inertia. In the sense the total moment of that force is calculated in the based on the axis or a line which is perpendicular to the body to the plane of the body is polar moment of inertia. And mathematically speaking suppose if I have a you know body here which has got a small elemental area of A or D A, very small. I should have a dis distance of X value here and Y value here, is it not? X and Y difference is there. So, in that plane, what is my axis which is perpendicular? Okay, and we write mathematically, I write I P, polar is P. Polar moment of inertia, I is moment of inertia, P denotes polar. I p is equal to, it is an addition of I x x plus I y y. What is the meaning here? The polar moment of inertia is an addition of moment of inertia at x x reference axis plus moment of inertia at y y reference axis. That is it. Okay. And along with this polar moment of inertia, you have one more, you know, uh, topic called it is radius of gyration, radius of gyration. This is denoted by symbol R and it is nothing but a square root of your moment of inertia value, whatever it is, divided by particular area only. Moment of inertia with respect to x x axis or y y axis divided by the area of the body, it is a square root, whole square root of moment of inertia with respect to x x axis by area, also equal to 
again radius of correction is also equal to moment of inertia with respect to i y y divided by a. I can also write like this y y by a area whole square this and this radius of correction is again it based on any body based on a particular origin alone will calculate the total polar value that is polar means it is on radius theta and r only the radius value is on the angle how much is changing based on that the radius of correction is taken. So, it just simply shows the formula says it is moment of inertia at x x axis or x x value divided by particular body area ok and along with this we have one more thing goes called product moment of inertia one more topic or a product moment of inertia product means multiplication is it not you just multiply I will write it is again IP ok is again here also I wrote IP for a moment of inertia product also IP ok or I can write just directly P or depending on the books you know when different books have different symbols it is ok I will write IP only for a moment of inertia is nothing but I x x into I y y it is simply multiplication between moment of inertia see it is here it is plus polar here it is multiplication which is multiplying i x x value and i y y value ok or I will say one more thing it is just thing but i of x and y both the same I am just multiplying this x and y values to get a product the same diagram can be hold good here it is just an addition I mean multiplication of x and y whatever the value I am getting x into multiply y here I have to find out a summation of area into x value and y values that is it after finding the area after finding the x value and y values I have to multiply with this available area I am just taking what area means a rectangle I am finding an area x value of rectangle y value of rectangle multiplying here that is it so your polar moment of first it is moment of inertia then polar moment of inertia radius of direction and your product moment of inertia so under this product moment of inertia you will have normally have one question one problem so basically at unit number 3 uh, the usual question starts from one question you have to find out you know to be solved by center of gravity it is sure now when you practice that very well one question you can attend very neatly without any doubt but you have to practice and know the formulas the shape its x value y value and area and the next it comes on the moment of inertia In moment of inertia is the mi i x x and i y values and there the trouble is area as well as h bar h bar the formulas I wrote here it is very important it is in the book as it is and depending on what reference axis central reference axis or some other axis you have to practice this holds good depending on what axis it is ok then it goes for the polar moment of inertia and the problem is not given in terms of moment of inertia it just comes under product moment of inertia so one question we have to one or two questions we have to see under product how does the product be multiplied then the, sorry how the x and y values be multiplied that we have to see because summation of the area into x into y that will give an answer here you have difference of the axis suppose I have a diagram like this ok what is this one now this is my reference axis O this is X this is Y this portion is left to the reference axis is it not or I can even shift this reference axis O Y the leftmost corner to here also that depends on the question this will be shifted to here so I have to find out the product moment of inertia for each and every body separately body number 1 number 2 and number 3 everywhere I need to write your h bar values h bar is what if it is x x direction x difference x bar difference sorry 
if it is y y means it is y difference i mean sorry h x x means it's y difference y bar see it's contradictory i mean mean opposite for x x finding i x x it is y difference y bar for finding i y y x difference x bar these values i should find out here also and i should write if it is left to the portion of reference axis i should take a negative value if it is right side to this portion i take positive value this under product moment of inertia okay this will solve one question so that one or two questions you will understand why we are multiplying this x and y what is the benefit of this kind of problem space okay